This is One on One. Scott Witherspoon is Senior Vice President and Chief Credit Officer, Affinity Federal Credit Union. Good to see you, Scott. Good to be here. Thank you, Steve. And by the way, credit union, for those who don't know, is? Yes, credit unions are cooperatives owned by the members as opposed to public companies with shareholders. You're big on financial education. We've talked about this right before we got in here. What yes. is it and why is it so important? Financial education is critically important. A great example, uh, we provide mortgage financing for home buyers, including first time home buyers. And for many of them, it's the biggest investment, single investment they'll ever make in their lives. Mm -hmm. And so we think it's critically important to educate them and answer their questions and make sure they understand the financial responsibility they're taking on and making sure they can handle the financial responsibility they're assuming. But what happens, say someone um, you know, is trying to buy a home. Huge investment, right? Huge. Biggest one in their life? Usually, yes. And they don't know much about mortgages. Right. They, so in terms of financial education, they don't have it, they have bad information. What's at stake? So I think what's at stake, uh, and we saw this through the financial crisis, I think we as a financial industry have a responsibility to educate people, uh, to make them understand what size home and what size mortgage they can afford comfortably within their financial wherewithal. And I think it's a responsibility to do that. So they make wise choices uh, on what type of mortgage products to take and what type of programs to move into. Now you talk about the financial crisis of 2008, if yes. you will, right? The fallout from that, the government reaction to that has had what impact on banking regulations as it relates sure. to credit unions? I think both the, uh, the CFPB and the Dodd-Frank Act and CFP the, impact, uh, the Consumer Financial Protection Board Go ahead. have come out with a lot of rules to protect the consumer. Fortunately for credit unions, credit unions re uh, responded in a very responsible way through the crisis. And I think, quite frankly, uh, it will be relatively easier for credit unions to uh, be able to comply with the new rules and regulations because they've been responsible to their borrowers throughout this entire financial cycle. It's interesting uh, about credit unions because one of the things I was reading that, that you guys are involved in, and I thought, what is this whole thing about community bulletin boards? What is a community bulletin board and, and how does that impact the average consumer. Sure. So because the credit unions are owned by members, we have within each of our branches, we have a footprint of 15 branches here in New Jersey, and within that branch network we have community bulletin boards in each one, where different uh, members, existing members of the credit union can post their business cards. So if you came in to conduct business at our branch and you needed a CPA to do your taxes this year, or you were looking for a snowplow removal company uh, given the winter this year, or you're looking for a pet sitter, or a house cleaner, whatever the service is, we think it's important to match and network the businesses within the local communities we serve. So we find it's a great opportunity uh, for businesses to exchange or pick up each other's business cards. We also use it uh, for the real estate community. And coming back to the first time home buyers, we like to match up after we've educated first time home buyers with realtors to assist them after we can pre-qualify them for a mortgage to help them go out and find the home of their dreams. When people use the term credit union, <clears throat> you're out, you're talking to people, do you find that most know what it means? No, I think, uh, you know, the, the very word credit, uh, we, we have lots of money to lend, we want to lend, we want to help both individuals and we want to help businesses uh, in the markets we serve. Our mission statement at Affinity is basically to improve the financial lives of our members and the communities we serve. And we think it's fundamentally important. Uh, to be actively involved in providing credit, whether it's for the individuals on their consumer needs or mortgage needs, or whether it's for businesses, small and mid-sized businesses. Businesses are what drives the U.S. economy, and it's what will drive the economy back to recovery is the growth and success of small business. Talk about that in 2014 and beyond. What do you see? We've asked all sorts of folks in the financial community what they see, and prognosticating is, is a tricky business at best. Sure. How optimistic are you about the movement of the economy and the movement of credit, if you will, and the, um, what it means in terms of business activity? Well, I'm very optimistic about what it means for credit. I, we have money to lend, and we think it's important to get that money into the hands of small and middle market businesses. Uh, whether they need a line of credit for working capital, or they need term loans to buy equipment, 
or other assets or whether they want to take advantage of the low interest rate environment and buy real estate that they may be leasing right now. It's a great time to be an owner of real estate given the relative It's a great low. time? Sure, Why? absolutely. Rent interest rates are still at historic lows. Uh, we may never see these rates again as we look back over time. So I think it's a wonderful time for businesses. Devil's to advocate, as prices rise, as, as real estate prices rise, some might say, really now, now's a good time, you say? Sure, I think, um, uh, I think back to when I bought my first condominium, I think my mortgage rate was probably north of 12% in wow. the low teens, uh, dating myself a little bit. But I think if we look at the interest rate environment today on a historic perspective, I think it's a wonderful time for both homeowners, uh, particularly first time homeowners, and for businesses to lock in on fixed rate mortgages. Is, is interest rates from your point of view, or what the interest rate is at a particular point in, point in time, the most important indicator or factor in what drives the economy? I think it's one factor. I think a, another contributing factor would be the confidence level of employers to hire or to right. invest, to deploy capital to invest in new equipment or expand. So I, I look at the hiring of small businesses, of hiring of employees to be a critical uh, indicator as to the growth and success coming out of a recession. Before I let you out of here, I know you have an initiative in cooperation with the CPA Society of New Jersey? Yes. What C is that? So we work with the New Jersey Society of CPAs, and CPAs can be a wonderful source of not only referral business for the financial community, but more importantly, we work closely with them, coming back to that education. We talk to the CPAs regularly for financial information on our borrowers, and we think they have as much responsibility of counseling them as we do from a financial perspective. So we have a very close re working relationship with the CPA community and consider them to be a critical partner uh, in the process. Scott Witherspoon with, the, with Affinity Federal Credit Union. I thank you for joining us. I okay. really appreciate it. Thank you, Steve. Very educational. Thank you. Stay with us. We'll be right back right after this on One on One. Thank you. One on One with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating 25 years of broadcast excellence. Funding for this edition of One on One with Steve Adubato has been provided by New Jersey's Credit Unions, the New Jersey Education Association, New Jersey Natural Gas, United Water, New Jersey Sharing Network, and by the Healthcare Foundation of New Jersey. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area. One-on-one -on -one with Steve Adubato has been produced in partnership with St. Joseph's Healthcare System.